Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rick Mom, and I will soon start my ECCM tenure track at Leiden University. My passion is to understand electrochemistry from a very fundamental perspective. I want to understand what electrocatalysis looks like at the level of atoms and molecules. In these three short minutes, I would like to show you how I intend to develop new spectroscopic techniques in order to get this atomic scale insight, and how this might help to improve fuel cells and electrolyzers. Like for most electrocatalytic devices, the chemistry in fuel cells and electrolyzers is centered around the one or two nanometer around the electrode surface. This is where catalysis happens, this is where electrode degradation happens, and both of these are influenced by the surface structure of the electrode and the near surface structure of the electrolyte. So, if you want to improve the performance of our device, we need to improve this interface structure. And this is a challenge, because this interface structure is dynamic. Basically, if we design a very intricate electrode design, we are not sure that it doesn't change under operating conditions. Similarly, we can add electrolyte components, but who is to say that they actually go to the surface during operation? So, if we want to pursue a very rational approach in designing electrocatalysts, we need to understand what changes from preparation to operation conditions. Now, this is the challenge that I've set myself and that I want to solve using spectroscopy. In the next few years, I want to develop new spectroscopic techniques for X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, X-ray absorption spectroscopy, and Raman spectroscopy. And what these new techniques will have in common is that they specifically detect only the one or two nanometer around the electrode surface and that they do so under operating conditions. Together, these techniques will uh, give an operando insight into the elemental composition of the electrode electrolyte interface, both which elements are present and how much, what the oxidation state is of these elements, how they are bound together, and what their local electrostatic potential is. So, with this very complete picture of the electrochemical interface, I aim to understand what the fundamental reasons are behind structure activity stability trends. Basically, I want to extract which components of the electrode electrolyte interface are essential for performance. And based on this, I want to develop rational design guidelines for catalyst innovation. Now, this is a very general strategy that I want to apply not only to fuel cells and electrolyzers, but to many other systems as well in the future, hopefully in collaboration with many of you. Thank you very much.